I had a vision where I felt like I was dreaming and watching a movie at the same time. This is related to the Suzanne Morphew case and her husband, Barry Morphew. Now I do want to give a warning. These are very graphic details that may be bothersome to some. I was watching a video that Plunder had made. It started with an image that flashed in my mind when I saw the evidence photo that you see here. And I zoomed in, which is what you see here. I saw a female's hand, her fingers, wrapped around the bend of that arm from the outer part of the arm, gripped as tight as possible. My stomach flipped. My heart sank. I cried. Oh, Suzanne, I heard. And I paused the video while I watched this movie appear in my head. I was in fear as I watched a female packing this big black suitcase on her bed. Her husband walked in before she had fully packed everything, but she was leaving for good. She had given him chance after chance. She had given 100%, but he hadn't. She just wanted to be happy and free. She wanted to love and to be loved, but she felt trapped, like she was being held captive. She had overlooked his abuse for long enough. She explained all of this to him, and as she spoke, he turned a shade of red that I don't think I've ever seen in my entire life. There was a lot of yelling. His voice was so scary. It made me jump, cringe, and almost cry. There were items being thrown around the room. I heard pounding on wood, and I sat in fear as this movie continued to play in my mind. I watched the husband chase the wife all over this big, brown, log cabin-style home. There were windows everywhere, and she ran outside, and he chased her back inside. She ran out another door to get outside, and yet again, he got her back inside. I felt trapped. I felt like I couldn't catch my breath. I felt like, why can't anyone help? The space is so wide open, all these windows, all the screaming for help, yet there was nobody around to hear the cries. She was exhausted, crying, pleading, begging. He tackled her. I saw his arms locked straight down. I couldn't see her, but I could see that he was sitting on top of her. And she was so tired, but she was giving it her all. She had just been chased all over the inside of this huge house and outside a couple times. She was so tired, but she wasn't giving up. She's a fighter. And I felt that, I felt that fight. She had tried the flight part and I heard fight or flight in my mind. And that's not a term that I ever use. So I knew that, I knew that she was letting me know. I tried to flee. I tried to get away and I couldn't do it. So I had to fight. She didn't want to hurt him. She wasn't trying to hurt him. She was trying to protect herself and get away from him. But when he tackled her, she knew that she was stuck. And I saw her hand grasping his left elbow area again. That same vision that I saw moments earlier. I saw her right hand trying to bend his elbow to release his strong grip. Her hand was a light colored tan. Her nails were short and manicured. And those nails were strong. They were digging into his skin. And he was wearing a blue t-shirt. And those nails definitely have his DNA underneath them. They definitely have his skin and his blood under them. Her head was pounding just to the right of center in two different places. She could hear her, her rapid heartbeat inside of her right ear. The right side of her head was damaged pretty bad. She kept fighting though. She begged God to give her strength and he did until she took her last gasp of air. That's when I saw the husband stand up after she stopped moving and he looked out the window as he placed his right hand over the scratches on his left arm. And he turned back and looked at her and said, look at what you made me do. Look at what you did as he looked at his arm. And he sounded so hateful and bitter and this wasn't the first time that he said those words to his wife, but this was the last time. 
that he said this to his wife. Now, some of what I've shared isn't on my notes and that I'm showing you on the screen here because it was shown to me just as I was just going through and sharing my notes with you just now. I have replayed this movie in my head four times now. This is the fourth time that I've rewatched this horrible movie in my head. And I'm sure it won't be the last. I'm sure I'm going to keep replaying this over and over. This is something that I don't, I felt fear in my life. I have felt like I've been in danger in my life, but I have never felt this level of fear. I've, I've never felt this level of danger myself. That's how I know it was coming from this wife. And I do believe in my opinion, allegedly that this movie that I watched was Suzanne Morphew. Now this isn't going to be my last reading. I'm sure I feel a very strong connection, very strong connection with Suzanne Morphew. I'm only 20 minutes away from her childhood home, from her high school where she graduated, where Barry played baseball on the baseball diamonds. I've been there. I took you guys there in live streams. If you haven't seen those? I'll leave them linked below. I have a, a whole playlist of all of those. I've been there. But this, this movie that I watched yesterday and today, because it started yesterday. I was watching Plunder's video yesterday, and then I was shown more today when I was telling this, this movie Again, I've never been shown this much detail since I've been covering Suzanne's case. So I'm sure that I will see more. I will hear more. And you can see at the bottom of my notes down at the very bottom down there, um, I did add that I added or that I pulled a few cards. I didn't pull a lot. I only pulled two times, twice. The first card, Scream, that came out yesterday when I had started doing my reading and I had taken my cards out of the box and Scream fell out. So I set it aside. So then today I sat down and pulled my cards out and started shuffling them. And the first few cards that came out were Bully, Queen, Opportunity, Light, and Past. And I wrote here, I believe, in my opinion, allegedly, Barry Morphy was a bully to Suzanne. She was supposed to be the queen. He took the opportunity with the girls out of town. Good timing. Suzanne saw the light and she wanted out and Barry freaked out. He knew she was serious this time. She wanted Barry to look back at his behavior in their past. This long marriage of abuse. The second set of cards overlooked nine to 12 months. Goal, happy. Isn't that weird that those cards came together, right? Nine to 12 months, goal, happy. Then we had evidence, material clothing. And I, I, I believe there's a little bit more to those two. I'm gonna elaborate on just a, in just a second here. Evidence and material clothing. Um, captive, prayer, history of abuse, strength, and stars. And I ran out of room, so I wasn't able to keep going with the last two cards, the strength and the stars, but I'm going to elaborate right here. Okay, so Suzanne overlooked Barry's abuse for so long. She gave him so many chances that she finally set a goal for herself to leave Barry. He had nine to 12 months because she wanted to be happy again. She kept evidence of his abuse and his betrayal and Barry kept making these promises that he would never keep. He'd buy her gifts and, and material clothing, but Suzanne wanted him just to be good to her, just to love her. She didn't want the gifts. So that was, that was where my mind originally went. But when I just saw evidence and material clothing again, I think that there is material clothing that the police need for evidence to prove the facts of what really happened to Suzanne. The next card was captive. Suzanne felt like she was held captive in this relationship and marriage. She couldn't be herself anymore. She wanted to be happy, go lucky and free. Like she wanted to be, like that's all she wanted. She had loads of prayers that she had sent up, that she had had others send up to stop the abuse, but it continued anyway. Suzanne just wanted to be free and happy and she wanted to love and to be loved and strength. She had so much strength. That woman was beating cancer. Her strength of being a wife who's allegedly being abused and being a mother and fighting cancer. I mean, she, her strength is enormous. And then stars was the last card. And I think that we have that for two reasons because Suzanne is a star. She is a bright, shining star. The hashtag that they came out with when Suzanne was first reported missing, 
shine bright for Suzanne, and I believe that. She was a bright star. She still is a bright star. But I also believe that stars popped out in my cards because I believe that she was buried under the stars. I believe that she was buried when it was dark outside. Now, I don't know. I cannot remember the timeline, the exact timeline. I have not put it all together yet, so I cannot narrow it down to the hour or to the minute of when I believe this all happened. But while I was doing this reading, you'll see up at the top, I kept hearing Saturday, 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 Saturday. So I believe this happened on Saturday, not on Sunday, not on Mother's Day. And I, I can't even give you the exact dates. I know that it was like the 9th or the 10th, somewhere around there. The missing sign says Min missing since Sunday in Chafee County. $200,000 reward. No questions asked. No questions asked. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to share this reading. I'm sure that I will have more after this. Leave your comments below. What do you think about this? I'm, I'm wanting to say that she was killed on Saturday, but I don't know if it was Saturday night that she was buried or if she was placed somewhere on Saturday night and then she was moved and buried in this in the location where she was found later i'm not for sure i i hope to get more of, a, of that information in my future readings so for now this is what i've been shown this is what i have felt this is what i believe this is all in my opinion this is all allegedly this is all for entertainment purposes only because youtube makes me say that and i don't want to get sued so i'm going to go with that um it was just a movie that played in my head that's all it was a movie that played in my head and I wanted to share with you guys so leave your comments below let me know what you think about it I would love to hear that thank you so much for watching and until next time I love you bunches and shine bright for Suzanne